welcome to the vlog, yes, another day. Uh, today's lockdown, they locked us down last night. So, uh, yeah, I can't really go out and about anywhere. Let's come into the old brewery. There's not as much light in here. So yeah, the old brewery now has turned into a bit of a storeroom for like fats and uh, containers and chicken food and you know, the fats are for soap making, soap making equipment down here in this container. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna give you a little bit of doggy here. Are you bringing him out? I'm gonna give you a little bit of Chance and Reggie this morning, but Reggie's got, hold on Gem a minute, he's got a bit of an ailment. I don't think you'll get it with your hands. So last week he had really bad breath and we thought, oh maybe, might be his teeth or something. Turns out he'd got a stick stuck across the roof of his mouth and it appears that he's done exactly the same thing again today. So uh, Chance is all right by the way for everyone who's asking, I'll show you in a minute. But let's see if we can get this stick from the roof of Reggie's mouth. He is a bit of a plonker. Let's just uh, let's see if we can get it out, Gem. You ready? Mm -hmm. oh, it's a bit dark in there. Open wide, bud. There we go, right at the back. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Oh, it's got some slime on it's it. It's got a bit sorts. of blood on it as well. Oh, buddy. Oh, why you I... why you keep eating sticks? Is it why you keep eating sticks, mate? Oh my goodness! So let's just have a look at that in the light of day. Oh, Reg, you poor fella. I know, look at that little bit sticking out of it as well. Yeah, that must have been in there. Well, it's been in there a while, I'd say, wouldn't you? Because the slime on it. You might have just done it yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, probably. Because the day before he had a piece of plastic on the roof of his mouth, didn't he? You are silly. You're a plonker, Reggie. You're a plonker. Come on. Well, we'd better clean his poo up as well. Oh, but don't show that on camera. Right, anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. We're going to be assembling Abigail's desk. It still needs a bit of painting, but I've got to drill holes and what have you to assemble it anyway. So I thought we put it together first and then put the final coat on, whence it is up and completely finished. Or I might screw it together, then take it apart, final coat, and then put it together. But I'm still gonna have to kind of cap over the screws, I think. We'll see. Let's just put it up. So we've spent all afternoon making the furniture. There's Abigail's drawers. There's the backboard for it. And that's her desk. We just need to put the drawers in there. There's Chancy boy. All right, old timer. Oh, he's full of beans. Go on then, bud. That paint's wet. Oh. And there's vegetable. That's Reggie's nickname, by the way. We call him vegetable these days. I don't know why. Reggie, veggie, vegetable. It just seemed like a natural progression. He's been eating sticks. Like they've been going out of fashion and they've been sticking in his mouth. <laughs> Abigail's been doing PE and Reggie's been going mental because he's not allowed to go and bite her when, he's do when she's doing it. Yeah, there we go. So that's been our day today. So I'm just waiting for the paint to dry on here and then we're going to take it up to the bedroom and pop it in. I could do with some fixings to fix it to the wall, but unfortunately screw, screw fix and tool station have closed down uh, for the foreseeable future. Might be open for deliveries tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Certainly was a blow. More so than the pub shutting, I think. Anyway, I've just got to wait for this to dry. And uh, yeah, I've gone to the other side, folks. I'm having a Simmons Scrumpy Jack. Why not? So we brought the uh, the shelves into the porch. It's starting to get a bit dark outside. I do need to put another coat on this, so there's no point taking it upstairs just yet. So, hey Habs. So I thought I'd just give you one last shot of the eggs in the incubator 
we've actually uh, taken out the egg turners. You can see better from this angle. So we've got a couple of days until these eggs start to hatch, hopefully. So what we're going to do is take out the turning mechanism and the chicks all want to reorientate themselves inside so they're in the correct position for breaking out their shells. So you can see the turning mechanism there in the foreground. If we focus on the eggs, there we go. We think that the one on the right hand side is empty but there's potential baby chicks in the others. And of course here's our little Lone Ranger. He's absolutely shredded up his newspaper today. You gonna come and say hello buddy? Hey, oh you're ready to go outside aren't you? He smells a little bit. He's hiding underneath his brooder. So that might be a job for tomorrow as well. I'm told that screw fix have opened up so we might be able to get some chicken wire to make him a little run. That would be nice. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for today folks. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow when we continue with some of these projects. Reggie! Reg! You having a sleep mate? What are you sleeping on there for? Oh, we've woke him up. You coming in? Come on then. Doors open. He must have been catching some rays. Now oh, the boy's getting down. He's moving up.